Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This evening on Tundra Tactical, we have a special treat for you. It is our famous pistol caliber carbine Christmas special. We'll be answering all of your questions and settling the debate once and for all over which pistol caliber carbine is in fact the best. So make sure you stay off the ATF's naughty list and that your Christmas lights outshine your neighbors and let's start the show. How was that? It's corny as fuck. Yeah. Should I t tone it down a bit, you think? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey guys, welcome back to... What was that? What was what? Shh. You hear that? Uh, I don't hear anything. Is that bells? No, it can't be. You don't think it's him? No. No, he was killed by Starbucks in the Great War on Christmas of 2015. Can't be. It's just somebody playing a stupid prank. We're in the middle of nowhere. Guys. Defensive position, let's go, come on, rifle, let's go, let's go, come on, come on, come on. Where is he? Guys, I can't do this. We can't fight this guy. We have to run. Stand your ground, get back in the fight. He has infiltrated every residence in the world and he has never been caught once. He has done this all in 24 hours. We do not stand a chance. He is the greatest operator to operate operationally. Jesus Christ. Dude, I think he's dead. Check him. Bryce, check him. Come on. Is he there? He's gone. Fuck. All right. Come on, Gataclaws! It's me you want! Let the medic go! You don't need some chicken shit gun! You don't want to just pull a trigger! You want to put a knife in me! Get out of here! Where am I? Look, that really happened. Where are you, bastard? Show yourself! Release me! Ah, oh, god damn it. God! What do you want? What do you know about carbines? Carbines? What? I don't... What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. My elves report you have an entire cache of carbine weapons. N cache of carb... like 9mm? What do you need those for? My elves are small and tender. I need something with low recoil that can still get the job done. What job? 
to take back Christmas, of course. No! I'm never gonna talk! You can't make me! I hoped you'd say that. Are those raisins? God, I hate raisins! Bite the cookie! No! I'll never bite the cookie! Bite the cookie! No! You can't make me! Oh yes, I can! Open wide! <laughs> Now, are you ready to talk? I know you know which carving is the best, and you're gonna tell me now! Are you serious, man? That was just clickbait. A likely story. I hope you like eggnog. What do you mean, eggnog? <laughs> no! I'll never, I'll never talk. You can't make me talk. <laughs> okay, you win. I'll talk. I'll talk. <sighs> See, there's no reason we can't be civil. <sighs> Which carbines were you testing? I don't know. We had uh, MPX, Zenith MP5 clone. I think we had a Sub 2000, Beretta CX4 Storm, and two versions of the Scorpion Evo CZ Scorpion. So which one's the best for my elf army? <sighs> well, the uh, Kiltec Sub 2000 Gen 2 was the lightest, coming in at only four and a quarter pounds. They make a few different models to accommodate magazine platforms that you might already have, like the Glock 17 or 19 Smith & Wesson M&P style mags, uh, SIG 226, SIG Sauer 226 magazines, and even like Beretta 92 if you got those lying around. The folding feature makes it the easiest to transport of all the carbines and the barrels threaded for muzzle devices and suppressors. It's, I guess, also the most affordable, coming in at less than 500 pounds if you can find them. So the sub 2000s the best for my army. Not I mean not really, I guess. The trigger is heavy and gritty. The charging handles in a really awkward spot for folding. I can also honestly bite the heck out of you if you're not careful where you put your hand. And the recoil spring might pose a problem to weak little elves because it's extremely heavy. The iron sights are super low, so it's difficult to use them with any form of hearing protection, and you can pretty much forget about optics, because it'll ruin the folding feature, so it's a pain to disassemble and clean, and its reliability has suffered as it's been used and gotten dirty. It gave us a lot of problems at the end of the day, honestly. No, there must be something more dependable. What of the others? What others? I'll help you remember. What do you mean? Oh my god! What is that? It's Jingle Bells by Barbara Streisand. Turn it off! You gonna talk? Oh god, yeah, fine, I'll just turn it off! Oh, thank god. Whew. That was terrible. Just let me think. Uh, maybe the CX-4 Storm is what you're looking for. It's... Rugged, dependable, reliable. It was the most reliable gun we shot all day. The CX-4 comes in at 5 pounds, 11 ounces. Like the Sub-2000, it loads mags in the grip. Its overall length is pretty short and compact. Ours loaded 92 FS magazines, but there's also a PX-4 magazine model. The controls are reversible for left or right-handed elves, I guess, and the carbine's pretty comfortable overall to carry and shoot. The iron sights present a pretty good sight picture, and they fold down for better optic visibility, and it has mounting points on the left and right hand side of the forend, and even a hidden retracting rail at the 6 o'clock position. Cleaning the carbine is pretty easy, and the internals are large and well machined. The price is pretty reasonable with an MSRP of about $700. Overall, we thought the CX-4 was a pretty underrated carbine. 
So the ZX4 is the perfect carbine. Well, I mean, there are a couple of things. Like what? Ooh, well, it, uh, it honestly kind of looks like a space gun, which is great if you're a Battlestar Galactica fan, but, uh, the CX-4 is also the only carbine that we tested that didn't come standard with, like, a threaded barrel, and that's pretty annoying if you want some form of muzzle device. Uh, the aftermarket options for the CX-4 are extremely limited, so if you're dolling up your guns, this is probably not the one for you. Also, the trigger's pretty heavy, but seriously, have you seen this thing? If looking cool is half the battle, then I don't know how you can win with this. No, that won't do it all. I want to know what the perfect carbine is. Well, uh, I, I guess you'd be looking at the MP5 then. Yes, the MP5. I've heard of that one. Oh god, how long is this gonna go? I can't take more than this. We didn't have an MP5, honestly, but we did have the Zenith MP5 clone. Tell me about it. The Zenith Z5P is a Turkish MP5K clone produced on tooling purchased directly from HK, so this is as close as it honestly gets to the venerable and battle-proven MP5. The roller delay action and its rock-solid steel construction makes recoil much softer than a straight blowback design found in most carbines. The HK-style rotating drum sight gives you options for a variety of shooting conditions, and optics rails are included. Uh, the barrel comes factory with both the HK 3-lug as well as the 1 by 28 standard threads, and the fact that the gun was developed in the 1960s and it's still competitive against modern offerings is a testament that the MP5's design was decades ahead of its time, and still might be the best that there is. All of these things come at a cost. Uh, for starters, it weighs in at 5 pounds, which is a lot for a carbine with a 4.6 inch barrel. And well, come to think of it, it's not really a carbine at all. See, the laws in the US are kinda silly, and this is actually a pistol with a side folding brace. The brace also looks great in Spongebob tape, ensuring everyone around you can see that you're shouldering it, but I digress. It may have issues running certain types of ammo, and the rolling block action isn't exactly tunable, so you're gonna have to find a flavor of 9mm that it likes. Another issue was the magazines. They are expensive. With the street price going at about 80 bucks, you might just have to refinance your sleigh to have a decent stockpile of magazines. At least the Zenith comes with three good mags, though. Uh, we did try some cheaper mags, but they honestly cause nothing but problems. I'd say just suck it up and buy the HK mags. Uh, oh, I forgot. The gun itself? 2100 bucks. What? That's way too expensive! I have an entire army to outfit! Isn't there a carbine that has the same features at a more reasonable price? I told price? you everything I'm gonna tell you, Cataclaus! Now let me go! Well, if you've got nothing you else to say... What are you doing? No! What I have are you no doing? further use no, for you. No! Don't do that! No! Kurt! Kurt! Now talk! Okay. The Scorpion Evo 3 carbine. It strikes a great compromise between value and features, and the MSRP of the Scorpion Evo will set you back about a thousand bucks but you're getting a lot of features found on the higher priced guns. It's got a threaded barrel complete with a muzzle brake from the factory, M-lock handguards designed to accommodate most suppressors should you choose the NFA life someday, removable low profile iron sights, adjustable trigger, folding adjustable stock, uh, and it's ambidextrous too. The charging handle is non-reciprocating and the weight is about 7 pounds, but it's also very well balanced, so the gun feels like it weighs a lot less. Best of all, the parts in the aftermarket area for this carbine are booming. Don't like something about your gun? Great, just upgrade it, I guess. Just don't forget about those pesky 922R laws. We brought out a second Evo and configured it with aftermarket parts just to demonstrate the flexibility of the platform, uh, you could say the Evo evolves with your needs. That does have its downsides though. 
Uh, if you're not happy with the Scorpion as it is off the shelf, it might not be a very value priced option anymore. You can easily double the cost in aftermarket price if you wanted to do this. And like the Sub 2000 and CX-4, it has a big heavy bolt and that makes for a lot of moving mass. Even with the brake, it still gives the impression of having more recoil than it really does. There's also a lot of little issues with the plastic feed lips on the magazines cracking. Polymer is great, but there are just some things like magazines that are easier to make out of metal. No, that won't do. What about the MPX? What do you know about the MPX? I don't know anything about the MPX. Well then. I'll give you some time to reflect. No. No! Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! What fun it is to sing a slang song tonight. I'm a cookie. What are you doing here? No. No, don't turn it. No. Oh, God. So, are you ready to tell me? To find it. Just, you want to know about the MPX? I'll tell you all about the MPX. It's just essentially a modernized MP5. That's all it is. It's just an MP5 that's newer, okay? Is that all you want to know? All right, the six hour MPX is like the Cadillac of nine millimeter carbines. It's got all the bells and whistles that you would expect out of a pistol caliber carbine. It's got a threaded barrel, key mod handguard, including hand stop, full length Picatinny rail, ambidextrous controls, collapsible stock and braces, compatibility with AR-15 triggers, and most importantly, a short stroke gas piston system. <gasps> The magazines are polymer with steel feed lips. Just make sure your magazine generation matches the carbine's generation. Uh, the MPX shoots flat and kicks light, all while happily eating any ammunition that you can feed it. <laughs> yes, excellent. But it's still not perfect. No, no <laughs> nothing's perfect. The trigger sucks. I mean, at an MSRP of $1,900, you think you'd get a decent trigger. Uh, and yeah, it, it takes most AR-15 triggers, but then you can forget about your warranty because that's a big no-no to SIG. And since we're forgetting about things, I guess we'll also forget that SIG promised its Gen 1 customers caliber conversions before saying, oh, sorry, Gen 2 only. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, at least since it's American made, we can also forget the 922R. Wait, if it's made in America, then what's with these threads? Metric 13 and a half by one left hand? Nothing I own fits these threads. They're just threads. There's no need to get all scientific about it. Why not just give us what we want? Half by 28. I've also heard that they're no longer shipping the gun with iron sights which would make the MPX the only gun on our list that you can't aim without buying more crap. <laughs> so what about the high point carbine? <laughs> high point? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I knew you didn't know anything about guns, Cataclaws. High point. <laughs> They're American made, and they're affordable. <laughs> what could be so bad? <laughs> oh, what can be so bad? Are you joking me? <laughs> oh, you should really just let me go. That's it. <laughs> You've outlived your usefulness. <laughs> So now you're gonna get yours, Gattaclaws! <laughs> knock knock, motherfucker. You again? But you're just a medic. A combat medic. Long. Kept you waiting, huh? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. Wait. 
finally over. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>